Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Welcome to Chromatic Mayhem. I'm Manas and today I'm going to be showing you how I did this look. So it's a full face pink makeup look. So if you want to know how to do this, it's super simple. I've simplified it and you know, it's for someone who's like just starting out or for someone who doesn't have a lot of time in the morning to get ready but still wants to look bold and wants to wear makeup. You can look bold without makeup as well. I'm just saying. So yeah, um, I hope you learned something and yeah, let's move on to the video. So I've already primed and prepped my face. If you don't know how to do that, make sure you check out my last video. I've also tied up my hair because I don't want it falling in my face and getting mixed with the makeup. So with that, let's start. So the first thing I'm going to actually do is my eyes. I always start with eyeshadow because I'm a little clumsy and sometimes the powder will fall down on my face and it's easier to clean if there's nothing else there. The first thing I'm going to do is put on some concealer on my eyelid because that makes sure the eyeshadow stays and it doesn't smudge too much. So the concealer that I'm using is the Revolution Conceal and Define Full Coverage Concealer in the shade C7. So I'm going to take very little and just dot it on my eyelid let me show you just like that that's it that's pretty much all you need and just spread it the eyeshadow palette that I'm using is the Huda Beauty rose gold palette remastered this is definitely on the more high-end side and slightly more expensive if you're looking for a slightly more affordable version then please let me know and I'll do a separate video on that so let's start first thing I'm going to do is take my little eyeshadow brush which is clearly not clean don't do that clean your eyeshadow brushes and I'm taking a bit of this LA color setting spray and what I'm doing is I'm going to just spray the eyeshadow brush with a bit of the spray just one pump is good so I'm doing this because it kind of um, you know lets the eyeshadow stay on thicker and it also applies better. That's personally what I feel you don't have to do it if you don't want to. So the shade that I'm using is Man Eater. I hope you can see that. It's a really like red cherry like pink like shade and I think it'll go perfectly with today's look. It's pretty bold and I kind of like that. So yeah. Just spread that. And that is the eyeshadow part done. I try to keep it clean as possible. Now if you want, you can leave it just this way, but I really like it uh, when there's a little bit of glitter on my face. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my finger and I'm going to take the shade Pink Diamond and I'm going to take just that much and just spread it over my eyelid. And yeah, that is your eyeshadow done. We're now gonna move on to kajal and eyeliner and mascara and the rest of the eye area. So let's go do that. So before I, uh, you know, get started with my eyeliner and kajal, what I'm going to do is curl my eyelashes this is kind of scary, so if you don't want to do it, don't do it. I still get scared when I have to do it, but yeah. So that is um, eyelash curling done. Now we're going to move on to kajal. The kajal that I'm using is this kajal by K-Beauty. It's in the shade Onyx. I prefer pencil kajals to the twist-up kajals because I feel like these last longer and they're easier to use. So with that, let's get right into it. You just take it and pencil it in. Yep. So that is kajal done. The next thing I'm going to move to is eyeliner. This obviously can be a little difficult to get like a wing right. Even I don't get it right most times. But it's still fun to kind of try and get better at it. So let's move on to that. The eyeliner that I'm using is the Maybelline New York Colossal Bold Liner. It's a liquid liner and it's pretty easy to use so let's do that I'm going to take a smaller mirror for this one because I want close contact so I'm going to use this little mirror that one of my best friends got for me so it's really cute and it's pink so let's do that Oh, 
Okay, so that is eyeliner done. Next, we're gonna move on to mascara. The mascara that I'm using is the LA Colors Lash Building Mascara. So keep the mascara at the end of the eyelash and blink. Do the same for the bottom lash. Good. Yeah. Next, we move on to brows. So as you can see, I have a pretty complicated monobrow. So I don't really experiment too much with it. I don't do much with it. I've had it trimmed and you know shaped before and I hated it. So mostly what I do is just brush it a little and then add a little bit of tinted brow gel to give it um, a slightly more bold effect. But that's basically it. So I'm gonna use this eyebrow brush and just brush that. There's barely a difference. And I kind of like that. I like how thick and um, unruly they are. So, yeah. The brow gel, the tinted brow gel that I'm using is the NYX Professional Makeup Tinted Brow Mascara. It looks brown. I don't know why they gave it in a brown bottle because I got so confused. But it is black because I have black eyebrows. Eyebrow. It's only one. So, I mostly just do that to the outer, very little on the inner because like it's so thick here. So that is one side of the eye done. I'm going to do this side and I'm going to finish this eye and then we'll move on to the rest of the face. Let's get started with the rest of my face. The first thing I'm going to do is put on foundation and the foundation that I use is the Wet n Wild um, Photo Focus Foundation in the shade Desert Beige. So it's got this kind of weird paddle applicator and I'm just going to spread that in the back of my hand like that and then you can hear my um, family screaming outside it's very nice then I'm going to take my very very dirty my very very used beauty blender that I don't wash don't do that please wash your brushes please wash your beauty blenders don't be like me you learn what to do and what not to do <laughs> so I'm just gonna dab that on my skin. I don't like it if, you know, there's too much foundation on my face. I feel like it looks cakey then and I don't like that. I actually like some of the spots on my face to show. I feel like it looks kind of cute that way. This dabbing motion is how uh, you're supposed to apply the foundation. I find that it, you know, uh, blends better that way and it seeps better into your skin that way. And it doesn't look like you're wearing a second layer of makeup, which I hate. I feel like that trended a lot during the 2000s fashion era and I absolutely hated it. Even back then, I was very young, but even back then I was like, no, gee, I don't like this. But like, I didn't even know anything about makeup back then. I was very small. I was not very small, I was kind of small. So... I sometimes have to take extra foundation for my forehead because it's a very very large forehead which I used to be super insecure about but then eventually I mean what can you do with your face <laughs> you just move on so I've learned to kind of like it you know I feel like it brings it all together brings my face together that's what I mean it would be weird if I had a face without a forehead that is the stuff of nightmares <laughs> next we're gonna move on to concealer the concealer that I use is again by Wet n Wild. It is this concealer, which is the Photo Focus Concealer in the shade Medium Tawny. I'm going to take the pointed end of my beauty blender and just dab to like make sure it really gets in there. I'm also going to use a concealer brush and just like brush it a little. So this is super super convenient, this brush. Another best friend of mine got this for me, so this video is just proof that I have really nice friends. <laughs> so the blush that I'm going to be using is the Maybelline Fit Me blush in the shade 50 or Wine. This is such a dark blush and honestly, I love that. I love dark blushes. And yeah, I'm just doing this kind of like sweeping motion. To kind of lift my face a little to make it that's why you kind of put the blush upward so yeah we're gonna move on to the last part of my face which is highlighter the highlighter that I'm gonna use is the sugar contour the the force mini highlighter 
in the shade Champagne Champion. Can you say that five times fast? Champagne Champion, Champagne Champion, Champagne Champion, Champagne Champion. Yeah, you can. Wait, Champagne Champion. That's five times fast. So I'm using this fan brush by Wet n Wild. This is usually the kind of brush that you use um, for highlighter. And I'm just going to put it like that. And then I use my finger to kind of blend it out. Okay. So that is highlight done and we are moving on to the last step which is actually one of my favorite steps. So the last thing we're going to do is lipstick. Now this, the, the lipstick that I'm using is the Technic Matte Lip Cream. Okay. And it is done. Anyway, that is the final look. This is my full face pink um, look, for lack of a better term. But yeah, I hope you liked it. I hope you had fun. If you have any other recommendations for, you know, different pink products other than the ones I use, then comment down below and let me know because I'd love to, you know, find out more about what's out there. And if you try to recreate this, then make sure you, you know, tag me on Instagram and my ID is right here. So yeah, I had so much, so much, so much, so much fun doing this. I feel like that's grammatically incorrect, but it's okay. And yeah, I hope you liked it. And until next time, I'll see you guys with a different makeup look. Maybe. We never know. You know, I come up with weird stuff. <laughs> so yeah, I had a lot of fun. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.